The Ghost of Greylock, narrated by Janine Morris. Sometimes, under special circumstances, the stories become legends, destined to survive even as the children who share them grow up and move on. Greylock Hall stands in an abandoned forest. Its walls contain secrets of madness and murder. Greylock Hall started in the early 1900s. It was a place for children to have a safe haven with mental issues so their families wouldn't have to shove them in the dark and have to be shunned in a room where people could not see them. Years later, within several months after three children were found at the water's edge, small limbs tangled in lake weed, eyes staring blindly at the pale morning sky. <clears throat> The town refused to believe this was a coincidence. Suspicion from co-workers led to Nurse Janet's arrest. She worked the graveyard shift. The next day, she was found hanging from a bed sheet. With her death, the truth would remain her secret. A few years later, Greylock Hall was shut down. But in the town of Hudson, the tale of the nurse lived on. As the tale goes, a woman in white still wanders the corridors, daring anyone to enter. But beware of those who dare enter, for she will catch you and stick you with a needle, then drag you outside to the water's edge, to the deep tangles of clutching lake weed, all the time smiling at you. So beware those who dare to go to Greylock Hall. Ha 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 ha!